Kavil, you guys did such a great job yesterday. I'm so excited. And I think that we're going to see some wonderful dishes today. Super excited to see such great things happen. Um, let's just see. Do, 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 do. We had a wonderful day yesterday, and I was really excited that today it rained a little bit because we're going to be able to revisit the nice weather yesterday and actually see these great picnics that you guys have set up. I'm going to start presenting, and I'm going to present my entire screen. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you can see my screen now. Okay, Miss Bevilacqua, can you get on and just tell me that you can see my screen? Because I can't see you guys anymore. Yes, I can see your screen. Fantastic. Let's get started. We had the picnic theme this week, and I really was excited to see some of this. This was really a wonderful challenge because I saw that um, you guys put a lot of effort into this, and it was really, over the weeks, it's gone up one notch each time. This was the hardest judging week. And first of all, let's recap. We're going to go back to last week and see those winners. First, we had uh, the Finer family. They got the Hidden Ice Cream and the Learn From Our Mistakes Award, which I was really impressed with. This was a great example of people really thinking outside of the box. Finer families, are you on right now? Uh, yeah, we're here. Yeah, tell us what you learned through this experience. Wasn't that cool? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess next time if we were to try it, I guess when – Dipping the balloon in, maybe I would consider like spraying it with like like um like pan spray so that it wouldn't stick to the balloon as much because um when we popped it it like stuck to the yeah. balloon and you when like trying to peel it off it just started breaking into I still think it looks beautiful though, doesn't it? I mean it just came yeah. out so nice. So we gave you guys uh some mad props there and a nice award. The Bevilacqua family had chocolate chip cookies. They looked delicious. I especially liked how they set up the, um, the final presentation. It was just beautiful. Um, Bevilacquas, are you there? Yes. Yeah? How do you think you fared last week to this week? Um, I think I did really good both times. Yeah, I think so too. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Best of luck to you guys. Um, we had uh, Chelsea and Talia. They actually uh, made a pasta dish, mac and cheese, and their surprise ingredient was pumpkin. Um, and then finally, okay, the Zellman family. Zellmans, uh, Liam, I did not give you a an award at first, but then I found out, like, your coolest secret ingredient ever. So, And that was bacon. That was just brilliant and fantastic, and your mother is genius. Genius, I say. Thank so you. that was really good. Salmons, are you there? Yeah, we're right here. What do you think about last week to this week? When do you think you fared better? Do you think you're going to be a stronger competitor this week? Uh, yeah, definitely this week because we like kind of planned it out a little bit more. We had like a okay. week of this. Yeah, well, this was the first time you had cooked something for us, and it, it still came out really nice, the chocolate chips, right? So, And the secret ingredient in these chocolate chip cookies, which I will be making, is bacon because bacon makes everything better. Um, the Mary Martins, they did Sunday in a Cloud. Um, this was an amazing creation in my mind. First of all, I have no idea where you got the, uh, the cotton candy in the quarantine, but whatever. It's really amazing. And because of that, you won second place with a new Tesla. Very good. It will. It's only digital, however. So, But in your mind, you can drive around in your fantastic Model X Tesla. And finally, the top award last week went to little Sabrina. Sabrina, are you on today? Yeah. So you won first place last week, right? That was such an amazing recipe. Why do you think I gave you first place? I don't know. You made everything from scratch. You rolled the actual dough. You made everything from scratch. You even made a heart ravioli. It was fantastic. You had some of the most advanced techniques I've seen of any kindergartner ever. You had the pile of dough in the middle that you cracked the egg in the middle of the dough and you were working on the pasta. Really exceptional. So 
we gave you a Lear jet. Have you taken the jet out anywhere yet, imaginarily? Yeah. Oh, where have you gone? Disneyland. Disneyland, that's wonderful. That's a great way of using your new equipment. I'm so glad that you're you're doing it like even imaginarily. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Now it is time for our competition for all of us. So I'm super excited to re reveal some of these dishes and some of these setups. You did an amazing job. It's so hard to predict what things will look like when we're inside of your kitchen. But then when you bring it outside and you add that extra flair of being outdoors and really staging things nicely. Hold on. Let me let somebody in. Hold on. I know people are excited, right? Okay. Okay. Boop. Okay. Here we go. So let's get started. Uh, the Grossman family was up first. Grossman family, are you on? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your picnic. Did you like it? Um, yeah. So what did you make here? Tell us tell us what the uh what the what the entrees were. So the pasta, it was a fruit um no, uh, chicken pasta salad. Chicken pasta salad and then over there is um so there's tuna, guacamole, cheese, chips, um, crackers, carrots, cucumbers, and almonds. That is amazing. They made a chartreuse tray, which is a French word for a collection of little cheeses and chips and crackers and nuts and chartreuse. It's wonderful, wonderful presentation. And what's even better is the way you staged it in your garden. Tell us about this. Um, so this is the menu and, but, and then there's, um, we made homemade lemonade and, um, there's a rainbow fruit where it's in a rainbow and what's in the middle of it, it, it's, um, marshmallows, cream cheese and orange, orange, a dip. Orange, and you could um, dip any kind of fruit into it. That was brilliant. And you know what I really loved about this is the fact that you made a menu. I think you are co you are connecting your literacy skills and your reading and writing skills, and actually your cooking skills. I am so excited to see that. That is a totally interdisciplinary concept, and you did it. And there's um, balloons, and it says nothing is better than a picnic. I would agree with that. Whose idea was it to put nothing is better than a picnic? My mom. <laughs> Aha! You have a secret, secret person in, in back of you helping you out. That's good, though. That's fine. That's wonderful. Miss Grossman, you are congratulated. Grossman family, this is a beautiful presentation. I think you guys did a great job. Let's move on to the Kushners. We're going to go to the Kushners now. Kushners, are you on? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? How do you feel you did yesterday? Good. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I was really impressed. I really with like you. how it came out. Okay, and what are you guys doing in this picture right here? What is that? We're pouring our sauce on our pasta. Do you remember the name of the sauce? Pesto. Pesto, yes. It is a basil pesto sauce. It looks delicious. And it looks like that's whole grain, grain pasta, is it not? Is it whole grain? That's healthy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Good good health choice. I'm actually excited to see you guys making good, healthy decisions after the last couple of rounds where you guys have only had, like, brownie sandwiches Sundays and desserts. <laughs> okay. so it's my dad. Time that you're eating healthier. That's good. Okay. I want to show we got, you. Go ahead. We got, the, we got the basil from our own garden. You did? You grew it yourself? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it's awesome. From, it's from our indoor garden, but we are also growing basil in our outdoor garden. 
that's a lot of basil that you needed for that sauce. I'm looking at that. That must have taken almost a whole plant. Huh. Half, Half of a plant. plant. Half of a plant. Well, I hope it's worth it. I think, Mom and Dad, this picture in and of itself is worth it, is it not? Uh, my mom and dad said it was. Yeah, that is totally a keeper, that picture right there. Your, your pictures came out great. And I also love that you're out there reading as well. You have a legendary joke book there. Are you reading that to your sister? No, I got it for my birthday. It's from one of my favorite and companies. He, he like only drinks three or four or two every day. Okay, I have no idea what you just said, but I'm sure it was brilliant. <laughs> you said I only read three or four or two. Jokes from the WWE joke book I got. Oh, that's awesome. Have you shared any with Miss Voigt? She would love to hear some of your jokes. Okay. So, yes. I'll try. Okay, very good. Yeah, we'll take any jokes you have because we'll put them in the morning announcements. Now, um, I actually really love this, this recipe, especially for kids, because everything was done that's messy inside of a plastic bag. They made an egg salad. Uh, Parents, you did a great job at making this a fun activity for the kids. And look how beautiful this is with the with the flowers behind that. Oh, my God. Your, your garden must be beautiful right now. So well done, guys. I think you did a great job with the picnic theme. And next we have a new contestant, um, Gabriel Lee. Gabriel, um, are you on today? I'm on. You're on? Awesome. Tell us a little bit about what you're making here. So. I was making Coca Cola cake, um, and and we also uh, um, right there. Um, wait, you were, you were melting down the, the Coke with butter and cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. that, I think that that was the batter, so we poured it into a giant glass pan afterwards. Put it in the oven and then started making the um the icing. Uh -huh. Add more Coca Cola and um, butter and cocoa powder and mm. vanilla. Uh -huh. and, vanilla. <laughs> and then, and then outside we had a picnic. It was pretty windy. That was annoying, but we also had um um we we also um poured a giant pitcher of lemonade, put some lemons and ice cubes in it. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds like a really nice. Now, what's interesting is you said old school, like historical type of picnic. I think this is hilarious. I have a little video to show. He sent me a little video, so I put it in here. Let's watch that real quick. Bite of this cake I made. What's it taste like? Mm. <laughs> like a chocolate marshmallow. Sounds delicious. <laughs> All right. That sounds like it was really fun. Did you have a good time, Gabe? Yeah. Um, and what I meant by like a chocolate marshmallow, so it's kind of moist and kind of dry at the same time. And that's what made it really good. And we also had a giant plate with pretzels, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, that sounds good. So it wasn't just the chocolate cake. Because that would be silly to have just that for lunch. Although that is that is the way the Kushners roll. Um, so, yeah, chocolate cake, plus you had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, plus you had some other. That's great. That's fantastic. I'm glad you joined us, and I'm glad you uh, had a good time with that. That's awesome. Let's see how you guys did. Okay, next we have the Scatino family. Scatino family, are you there? Hello, hello. Abby, are you on? Yeah. Oh, good. Tell us a little bit about this. You know what I was really impressed with on this was the fact that you made your own tortilla chips. Um, I made them with the with um cooked tortillas, and it's called picnic style because I put in the photo on the left, I put them each like a picnic, like how you would set a picnic with different ingredients. It's adorable. I love it. And I see that you're out on your back deck there. That's nice. Were you eating alone or did your family join you? 
Um, me and my dad were both eating burritos when my mom had to work. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Dad, you did a good job. I'm excited that you made your own chips. That was actually really, really impressive. Uh, I've never made my own tortilla chips, but I've always wanted to try it. Is it hard to do? No, not really. All you have to do is put them in the oven and then sprinkle some salt on the top. Okay, very good. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you joined us. That's great. Now we want to go to Sabrina. Sabrina, are you on? Yeah. Hi, Sabrina. How's everything? I see that you're up here grilling some stuff. Is that you really grilling, or did your dad just help you out and you had to get out of the way? Um, I don't know. I think she did it, actually. She did do some of it? Wow, she's so independent. It's so crazy. <laughs> I'm glad that she has parental supervision, however. We yeah. were we supervising yeah. from a distance. Yeah, that's summer good. I mean, I think you did a really nice job, Sabrina. How did the hot dog taste? Um, good. Here's a close-up picture of Sabrina. Parents, that is a fantastic photo. That's one for the photo album as well. I hope you keep that forever, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very good. I love it. I think it looks really nice. It came out wonderful. I like their choice of uh, potato chips. I like the ridges on the potato chips. So, Sabrina, well done, my dear, okay? Okay. Now we're going to go to the Sawicki family. Sawickies, are you online? Hello, Sawicki family. Oh, well, I guess they're not there, um, but they had a really nice outdoor garden outdoor garden um, buffet there. They made a lot of meat, and basically they focused on a ham, egg, and cheese or a meat, egg, and cheese sandwich, and I think that they did a beautiful job. Take a look at how ooey-gooey they did their eggs. I think it's fantastic. It's really nice looking. But they also had a variety of other things. I'm not sure what this is. I guess it's a type of juice, maybe iced tea. I'm not sure. But it really is a beautiful presentation. I think that they did a great job. Next, we have the Deering family. Morgan, are you on? Hello, Morgan. Okay, I guess the Deerings aren't there. Um, she made a really nice lunch. These are actually pizza on top of muffins. So she made a pizza muffin and also had a cow salad that is super nutritious. Um, and some fruits, and she decorated it with some some um, tomato sauce. I think it looks beautiful, and that's a well done meal as well. Next, we have the Bevilacquas. Bevilacquas, are you online? Yeah. Tell us about this. Take us through a little bit of your presentation here. So what we did was we made um, a turkey and cheese sandwich, and um, so we have like a playhouse. And we saw that um, we had like the lemonade for 25 cents. And so we thought that would, it would be perfect for the photo. And so we took it there. I think you did an amazing job staging this. I think it looks so good. Watch this. This looks like I'm walking into like a really nice shop in, you know, upstate Maine, for, for example, or into a really nice old school um uh, cafe. It's just so nice. Miss Bevilacqua, I think you outdid yourself with this. Even the sandwich looks picture perfect. And I see that you have those cherries there. What kind of cherries are they? Um, they're actually fake. Oh, they're fake. Oh, yeah. well, I will not give you any points for fake cherries. <laughs> just kidding. Now, where did the croissants and things come from? Um, we just bought them. You just bought them. They're really beautiful, though. This looks like you had a really nice uh, picnic. Yeah. Uh, did your family join you? Mm -hmm. Good. I think it's so beautiful. I'm glad you had a, a little bit of sunlight and got out in the, in the natural air. That's fantastic. Next, we have a two-time winner, Aiden Lee, who's going to be talking in a minute. Aiden uh, did a really nice, nice job yesterday. Aiden, are you online at all? I'm online. Okay, tell us a little bit about what your project was. What exactly did you make? I made little picnic bites. One was um, salami and cucumber. Um, another one was lettuce and egg salad, 
One, another one was strawberry whipped cream, and the last one was guacamole and tomatoes. Okay, I just want everybody to just look at this. How perfect is this? Aiden, every week you do a beautiful job in just meticulously perfecting whatever you're putting in front of you. Um, this you. is just really beautiful. I think you did a great job here, um, and I think that it really looks fantastic. How, how do you think you did today? Good. Yeah. Okay, very good. Are you proud of what you created? Yeah. Now, how did you come up with the four different ideas for the toppings? We researched online. My mom um, gave me the idea. Okay, good. All right. It's a nice family affair. That's fantastic. Um, Aiden does basically everything himself. I've watched him work. Um, it's pretty impressive. He's very meticulous. Meticulous means you pay attention to really tiny details. And even with the paprika on top of the egg salad, that looks great. Okay, so the next one we have is the Mary Martins. The Martin family, are you guys on right now? Martins. No, I guess not. Okay, so they did they did this beautiful Italian bread, um, and then they did a, an arugula salad, and they had um, some guacamole, and they did a chartreuserie tray as well where people could pick and eat from whatever's out there. That's a perfect way to have a picnic, is just small nibblings of, of, of smaller items, like cheeses and crackers and fresh bread and guacamole. This is a really wonderful presentation. The Martins did a nice job. Liam, are you online, my friend? Yep, I'm right here. All right, what do you think of your finished product? Um... It was kind of easy to make, to be honest. What we did was we put, we got, um, for the parfait, there was raspberries and blueberries and yogurt inside. And then for the, um, for the lemonade, it was like, it was most, it was um, strawberry lemonade. We put, well, no, not strawberry, raspberry lemonade. We put raspberries, lemons, and water inside. And then for the, um, for the biscuits, we put it. It was it was very easy because you just had to put um, heavy whipping cream and self rising flour into it. Okay. And then there's chicken salad in the middle. Yeah. Did you make the chicken salad yourself? Yes. Awesome. Everything from scratch. Now, Liam, you told me yesterday that you really never made much before. You made like pasta and toast, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's basically like my main stuff that I eat. Every day. And your beans and your and your rice, of course. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel like this has changed your perspective on on what uh, you're doing? Yeah. Do? This this whole the whole uh, cooking thing has opened more opportunities for me to like make different stuff. So. Oh, great. that's awesome! And it seems like your parents are really supportive, which I love. And your older sister, who goes to Rutgers, gives you a little bit of a bonus point. Just saying. Um, <laughs> Really nice. And the other thing that I noticed is we had a lot of middle school teachers that actually you invited. Is that is that correct? Yeah. That's awesome that they came out to support you yesterday. And I thought that that was very impressive. Um, that was really nice, Liam. I'm glad that you had that experience. And that's an idea for all of, all of everybody else. If you want your teachers to support you, just remind them that you're going to be competing and they probably will show up. Um, it's just a really nice thing. We miss all of you guys, and we're so excited to see you participating online. It looks great. Let's look at his finished product one more time. This is beautiful. Um, I really think you did a nice job staging this, actually, with the lemonade and the parfait and then the sandwiches in front. And um, is your dad there right now? Uh, no, my dad's at work, and my mom's oh, yeah. downstairs. Yeah. He lucked out yesterday because he was able to partake in this. Did he, did he say how it tasted? Yeah, he ate the whole thing. Oh, good. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Liam, thank you so much for participating. That's good. We'll see how you make out in the in the finalist round. Thank Finally, you. we have the Finer family. Um, I wanted to highlight just how well they they highlighted their ingredients. I think that this is absolutely beautiful. Finer family, are you on? Yeah, we're right here. You guys, oh my gosh, you were so creative. Is this photoshopped? First of all, no. that's by our front 
yard. Yeah, we just had um, landscapers come and they put in a bunch of trees and like other plants. So you made it look so beautiful out there. I actually well, the work actually put into just bringing all of that stuff outside because. It, the watermelon, first of all, was just so heavy, and there was, like, so much stuff. It actually was – and then my neighbor is just across the lawn, and then we were just, like, chatting as I brought out each and everything. <laughs> that watermelon was huge. <laughs> yeah, and still, it was probably the smallest one we found. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. Did it have seeds in it? It had seeds in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the smaller ones, the seedless watermelons, are usually pretty tiny. So let's look at your finished product because I think it's just unbelievable, quite frankly. Walk us through what this is. Um, it's kind of like a watermelon grill. And um, uh, so you can't really see it, but underneath all the skewers, which is kind of like – in a sense, like fruit kebabs on the grill. Um, there's like blackberries representing the coal. And then um, you have like the top of the grill. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we added a couple extra fruits and decorations at the bottom. Now, where did you get the idea for this? Well, originally we were just going to do fruit kebabs. But then as we were researching, um, Nikki came across like a watermelon grill. And then we started like researching that. And that's how we came up with the idea i mean yeah. it looks amazing let's see another view of that wow wow in the garden my goodness well that was actually the whole picnic i mean the grill was just like one big part of it but yeah um, yeah the basic picnic was that we had like our sandwiches the cookies mm -hmm. the watermelon grill we made homemade lemonade and then we had fresh flowers now how many times have you won so far oh what are you going for a third? I think you might be trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Again, here's the Finer family. It is really pretty spectacular. Um, let's go to the winner circle. Are you guys ready? The first family that is a winner is the Grossman family. You guys did a great job. I love that you included literacy as well as this beautiful spread. Kids, you did a great job. I'm so proud of you. They did fresh lemonade. Grossman family, are you on? Yeah. What do you think about being winners today? Good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. You guys did a great job. And I really like that you incorporated um, the sayings and you made a menu. So cute. Mom and Dad, this is a picture for the photo album as well. Well done, right? Thank oh, you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Are you guys proud of yourselves? Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> Go ahead. What were you going to say? Um, we're proud. Very good. Fantastic. Next family that I'm going to talk about is Aiden Lee family. I think that this is beautiful. He gets the Picture Perfect Award because it's absolutely magnificent looking. I think that his eye for detail is astounding. And he's only in second grade. Like this second grader made these. It's just amazing. Really beautiful. Aiden, I think that you started a culinary career, whether or not you know it. Um, and I'm just really proud of you. Are you on, Aiden? Yes. I'm really proud of what I made of. It looks very nice. Um, I agree. I, I think it just looks fantastic. And you even have something that's like more of a dessert on the plate, which is to the right with the strawberries and the whipped cream. And you have something that's almost an appetizer on the left with the guacamole. I think it was brilliant. It was really good. So you actually had a, an appetizer, you had your main courses, and then you had a dessert all on one plate. Yeah, we were thinking for like a sweet and savory sandwich bite. I think you hit the mark. I think it was good. Now, where did you actually eat this at? Um, outside. Outside. Okay. Very good. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really wonderful. Um, well done, my friend. Thank Next you. up, I think um, for our new chef award, we have uh, Mr. Zellman. Mr. Zellman, you did a fantastic job. I think this looked great. I like the fact that you fed your whole family. And I also like the fact that your mom stated that you were helpful around the kitchen and that you invited your 
teachers to come and see you compete. I just, I'm very proud of what you've accomplished already. Um, and for only being in this competition twice, you're doing really well. So well done, Liam. Thank you. Okay. Do you have anything to add? Uh, no. Nothing. Okay. Well done, my friend. Next, we have the Kushners. Now, I love this photograph. I think that this is a keeper for mom. But I also love the way mom made this such an easy, accessible menu for the kids with these plastic bags for the egg salad. That was brilliant. Are the Kushners on? Thank you. You're welcome. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, we are ready to reveal our second place winner. Drum roll, please. Our second place winner today, it is meticulously created. I think that the staging was exceptional, and I really love even the sandwich. Bevilacquas, second place. Fantastic. Good job, Bevilacquas. Now, Bevilacquas, have you won before? Um, yes. How many times? Once. Once. So now you are... Your, now, did you get first place or second place that first time? First. First place. So now you have a first place and a second place. Um, the other person who has that is actually Aiden. Aiden is up there with the first and second place as well. This looked amazing. And I love the fact that you found the lemonade 25 cent sign and you had the playhouse. It just looks so beautiful. So for that, you are getting a digital uh, Model X from Tesla. Where are you going to drive your new car? Uh, in your imagination, of course. I don't know. You could go anywhere in the continental United States. Where would you go? Um, probably California. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Go see the beach. Go do some surfing. Is that it? Yep. Or, Atlant or um, uh, Walt Disneyland? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe Yosemite National Park. That would be beautiful. Yep. So that means that first place goes to the Finer family. They did an absolutely amazing job. Oh, my goodness. This is just even to the details where they have the skewers inside to show the grill grates for the um, for the skewers. It's just amazing. Fem or Finer family, are you on? Yeah, we're here. You are a three-time champion winner out of six. This is really kind of crazy, right? So yeah. Almost every episode you guys come up with a – or, well, every other episode you come up with a winning recipe. So, yeah, each week we try and do our best and come up with, like, the most creative stuff, and then we just – we hope for the best. And, yeah. I mean, we also enjoy seeing, like, everyone else's um, uh, creations and food – because um, also sometimes we are inspired by other people. So that's what helps us win sometimes. Yeah, too. I think that that's true. And I, I, I actually love these. But this is my favorite thing to do in the week because I love seeing the creativity of all of you. And I also love seeing you guys shine in a different way than just academics. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. just it highlights how special our kids are and how many different ways students can be excellent. So you've won a brand new Learjet. Where will you be taking it? Um. Well, let's see. I've never been out of the country. We went so, to the Bahamas when we were four, but she never considers the Bahamas out of the country. That is another country, technically. So yeah. um, maybe France would be a nice first stop. Yeah, a tour of um, Europe. Maybe I'd want to do, like, just, like, worldwide, like, go to each continent and, like, Go to like all of like popular like places like um, maybe um, like in I'd want to go to Australia or um, maybe like Zimbabwe in Africa or like wow. all over. That's amazing. That's a fantastic idea. Well, thank you so much for that. Are you guys proud of your proud of your work? Yeah. yeah really although I do have to say. If anyone did ever want to try this, it is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Getting the top onto the grill, like, it was so hard, um, especially because what you're supposed to do is it's not really supposed to be up like that. It's actually supposed to be, like, slanted on top it, of it. Like, you're not you're really not supposed, supposed to, to see the skewers. skewers. 
but it was so hard just trying to push it down and everything and it and like the skewers were like bending and like they were kind of moving around it was honestly such like a pain trying to get it on but then but did like but for the top i did also see this other idea i don't know if you can tell but we cut a little piece of celery and that's what the little handle on top is because on oh. real there's normally a handle oh i did not notice that that's cool um do you think that it would have been helpful if you maybe cut the skewers in half we so did yeah we, we did, did. And that's even after. I think it. I think it still came out amazing. I mean, yeah. I mean, also, um, you can tell that we kind of cut them too, because if you look closely on the watermelon, you can see like tiny, tiny, like little, like, like circles coming out, which is actually where we cut the skewers off. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, because I thought that's where the other skewers, the horizontal. Yeah, skewers, was, he's talking about these yeah. skewers. Yeah. Yeah, so that was, cool. I think it was delicious, and yeah. and I love that you even so did the, um, the charcoal, the uh, raspberries in the bottom. That was or the blackberries. Yeah, so the black represent the charcoal, even though you can't see it in the pictures. It was a nice detail. Like you guys thought of everything. It seems mm. so. Yeah, and um, I don't know if you can see, but down below there are like four like four little slices of kiwis yeah with like the zigzag pattern so originally i had seen that idea like a while ago and now whenever i make kiwis i just cut them like that and since it looked nice i figured we could add it but it's honestly super simple even though it looks super like complicated i think you need to make a video of that for our morning announcements of how to cut a kiwi to make it look good and maybe do that as a garnish. Well, I'll throw that in the morning announcements. That's awesome. How to make homemade garnishes. Yeah, I think that would be a, that would be a winner. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So I think that it was an excellent competition this week. I think it was so much more. Um, it, it just gets more impressive every week, it seems. Like, am I wrong in feeling that way? Do you guys feel the same way? Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of head shaking. So we're going to cut that out now. Um, that's pretty much the episode. But did you guys want to say anything and make any final comments? The Kushners would like to say something, followed by the Grossmans, followed by the Bevilacquas. Everybody did a great job. I hope everybody does a great job next time, too. All right. Good job, Kushners. Then we had the Grossmans, then the Bevilacquas, then Aiden. Go ahead, Grossmans. What's the next one? The oh, I forget. What is the next one? Um, let me look it up. Oh, do you remember, Aiden? What is it? I think the Aiden. Knows. What is it, Aiden? For your family. Or oh, for your family. That's it. Next one, you are going to be judged based on your parents' and family's answers about how good your meal is. So I'm actually going to have your parents fill out a survey about taste, presentation. They're going to have to describe how it goes. We're going to get parent and sibling feedback about your creations. How's that sound? Good. Okay. And, um, everyone did a great job. Good job, little Grossman. Thank you. And then Ava Bevilacqua, what would you like to say? Um, I just think everyone did a great job. Job and I can't wait to do this next week. Cool. And Aiden, you're up next. Good luck, everybody. This was very fun. Um, I hope next week everybody wins. Awesome. Thank you, Aiden. Gabriel, did you want to say something? I saw that you had your hand up. No, he's okay. Anyone else want to say something before we get going? Yeah, good, good job, everyone. It was really fun. Good job, Liam. Thank you. Thank you for being a good role model for my little ones. That's awesome. Yep. And the Grossmans want to say one more thing. Go ahead. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Oh, me too. And moms, moms, I have to say you are fantastic. You are loved. Have a wonderful Mother's Day. 
Kids, shower your parents with love. Clean the kitchen for them. Clean your rooms, right? Give your moms and any motherly person in your life all the love that they deserve this weekend, okay? Cool. Have a great week, everyone, and be blessed. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.